Natalie Make, and we are here at the DAC Gallery, uh, which is working with the Exceptional Children's Foundation. We have the gallery space uh, in the front and the beautiful studio space in the back. Uh, the group exhibition is titled Poetics of Relation, and it's bringing eight wonderful artists and cultural producers together that are merging at least two different disciplines. In this wall, for example, uh, we're standing in front of three beautiful uh, pieces made by Cheryl Humphreys. Cheryl Humphreys is an artist and graphic designer who is trained as a graphic designer and is now merging her graphic design skills with skills that we call fine art, um, which is a commonality with all the artists that are participating in this group exhibition that they're very much about merging and coming from different backgrounds and merging different disciplines to come up with innovative, uh, more contemporary, responsible art. The exhibition really believes that contribution uh, to the contemporary art world can be made by anyone from any background and uh, from any school and discipline. And this really is being reflected in the diverse work and the backgrounds of the artists who are participating in this uh, group exhibition. As some of uh, your blog readers will know, Michael is a gardener and uh, he is very invested in the organisms uh, in working with organic materials and uh, working in his garden and using uh, materials from his garden to come up with new art. And uh, for this particular piece, which is titled Heaven, he used the Asiatic blue flowers, which you see the real plant over here. And he uses the blue flowers and picks up the blue flowers and hand presses it onto the, onto the paper. And he has been working on this piece for the last two years. It has been a very repetitive and meditative process of picking up the flower every day and pressing it onto the, onto the paper. And you will wonder uh, why there is a veil on top of the frame. It usually, we usually keep it uh, veiled, closed, because the sunlight uh, will make the blue flower color fade. So it's highly fugitive. Exactly. So we have to protect it. It's inspired by the Buddhist Zen tradition uh, who used to use the same flower to come up with prints and use it for fabrics to dye. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Maybe we can talk about the installation. Uh, so this installation is created by the artist Olga La, who usually works with uh, uh, recycled material and, site and comes up with beautifully crafted site-specific installations. This piece uh, is, was designed and created specifically for this gallery, the DAC, and the Exceptional Children's Foundation um, in the back of our minds, uh, because it really reflects the efforts the Exceptional Children's Foundation and the DAC is putting into to really contribute to outsider art, what we call outsider art, and the work that we can do as artists and creatives to support artists with disabilities. Um, you will see, I mentioned the studio space, which is far more larger than this gallery space. Uh, attached to the gallery space where the DAC works with artists with disabilities and they have a fund that supports public schools for children who cannot uh, afford art materials. Inspired by the efforts and the work the nonprofit is doing, Olga La came up with this installation. Everything began in the studio. Okay. Uh, I know we're not in the studio right now. This is the gallery space in front of the studio. But I was introduced to the DAC and the studio by a friend. And I visited the studio when classes took place. Classes actually take place every day. And I saw the artists and all the creative people um, working there. And uh, I was really inspired by the fact that valuable contribution to the contemporary art discourse can be made by anyone. And even the artists who were not really conscious of the fact that they're even creating art. These are artists who are brought here by social workers who have um, mental or physical disabilities. They're just having fun creating something. Uh, they're not familiar with concepts of galleries, fine art, 
or gallery representation and so forth. Uh, it's more about creating. It's more about using your imagination as a force to change something. Um, this is what I saw and I got really inspired by that. And uh, at the end of the day, I really wanted to collaborate with DAC to um, support the, the nonprofit. 50% um, of the proceeds of this uh, group exhibition, of the sales, will go to the studio. And um, something that I would love to mention is the screen print that, which is the um, Your invitation. Yeah, which is the invitation and the postcard. This is a beautiful uh, collaborative piece between. Uh, this is your writing. This is yeah. This is actually my writing. Um, this is a poem that I wrote um, when I was working on this exhibition, and it was beautifully designed by Mike McMullen and Cheryl Humphreys who are also participating artists. And it was, again, it took yet another form of uh, artwork by um, Mike, Michael Nannery and Kiyomi Fukui screen printing it. So five people collaborating on this one piece. And uh, yeah, 100% of the proceeds of, of this, these uh, limited editions of screen prints will go to the studio. So as you can see, um, it's, it's very much about coming together as a, a group of creatives and being aware, I mean, having fun and, and sharing the artworks, but also making art a little bit more social, uh, a little bit more real, and uh, a little bit more um, useful and responsible.